Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the Wittig reaction. So myself, Mr. Nitin Voge, working as assistant professor in the department of chemistry, Sri Jnaneshwar Mahavidyalaya Nevasa. So Wittig reaction is an organic reaction in which aldehyde or ketone when reacts with the halides then there is a formation so george wittig in 1954 reported a method of synthesizing alkene from carbonyl compounds so synthesis of alkene from carbonyl compound or in that is aldehyde or ketones gives a alkene in wittig reaction the conversion of carbonyl group into alkene that is this carbonyl group is converted into alkene so here this oxygen gets replaced by these alkene parts so here in this reaction there is a formation of intermediate compound called a betaine so betaine having a this is structure So let's see what is the mechanism of Wittig reaction. So mechanism of reaction means the imaginary pathway of chemical reactions which tell us how the reactions take place, how the changes occur in the, during the chemical reactions. So in the first step, let's take an example of a benzophenone. When benzophenone is reacted with phosphorus halides. The phosphorus halides is in a carbonyl salts. The carbonyl then attacks on this electrophilic center of benzophenone. Then the these pi bonds get opened. Then there is a formation of betaine. Okay. In betaine there is a minus charge on oxygen plus charge on phosphorus okay. so these O minus or negative charge attacks on a phosphorus because this is a nucleophile and this is a electrophilic nature so phosphorus having a good affinity towards oxygen so here is a attack of O minus on phosphorus there is a formation of cyclic intermediate products these products get open that is these bonds transfer here there is a formation of carbon carbon double bond at the same time these bonds get opened and these bond transferred here there is formation of phosphorus oxygen double bond after breaking up this cyclic intermediate there is a formation of alkene that is carbon carbon double bonds so these pH C pH bond is from the ketone and these hydrogen carbon and hydrogen these parts from the phosphorus halides. The side products uh, is the triphenyl phosphine oxides. So here we can see that if we replace this hydrogen by any other alkyl group we can get a different types of derivative of alkenes or we can change also here pH by any alkyl group or aromatic group we can get a different types of derivative of alkene here are the some examples of Wittig reactions so when benzaldehyde react with these phosphorus halides here in the uh, from the previous example we uh, replace one of the hydrogen by ethyl group so this is a phosphorus halide okay this was uh, when benzaldehyde react with this phosphorus halide there is a formation of alkene okay so in reactant oxygen is replaced by this group okay so this oxygen is replaced by this group and there is a formation of double bond okay so in Second example is when ketone 
is react with these phosphorus elides. These oxygen get replaced by these CH2 group. That is, there is a formation of these alkene. In the third example, when formaldehyde is react with the phosphorus elides, okay, we keep here phosphorus a same compound. So in this also there is a replacement of oxygen by these CH2 groups. So there is a formation of ethylene okay, and triphenylphosphine oxide as a byproducts. Okay. With this we stop here. In the next lecture we will see the benzene condensation. Okay. Thank you friends.